Look, this is sure to make some of y'all pissy, but the truth is blood roots is just too easy to put down. From Paper Cult Games, Blood Roots tells the story of Mr. Wolf looking for Mr. Black Wolf and those who betrayed him. You traverse mountainous region, taking out scores of seemingly innocent bystander soldiers who aren't doing anything particularly bad, burning down the joint, and just kind of having fun with carnage. The colorful mayhem is brought to life at the intersection of poor beat-em-up and bad platforming. You're going to have a tough time trying to figure out where the game really wants you to go because out of bounds is insta death. And speaking of insta death, dying a shit ton is the key gameplay mechanic in Blood Roots. You approach an enemy, hit a button, probably take them out with some kind of weapon, and while you're paused, the enemy next to you can now hit you. Thus, your main tactic is going to be to daisy chain your incredibly breakable weapons to the point that you can take out all the mobs in a manner that doesn't leave you open for a counterattack. It's almost too simple, and your lack of options really makes you vulnerable. And so that's one of the key ways you're gonna die. Now each act is broken up into sections that require you to have a perfect run to get through. One hit, you start over. This makes boss battles incredibly tedious. Combine this with the lack of an engrossing story and I found myself going weeks without playing this game. To the point that I was like, oh yeah, I said I might review that. I kind of forgot. And no, I haven't even finished the game yet. It's been 12 days since I last played it. I had nothing propelling me to get back into it. Just so many other things to play on Game Pass. Maybe Blood Roots works better with touch controls, but on an Xbox, it's just incredibly frustrating to be paused and then killed. All because you decided to punch the wrong guy the first time you saw him. This near mute, unlikable protagonist and this backstory is just not a compelling reason to get back into a game that is frustrating to play. I give Blood Roots a 4.0 out of 10. Hey, it's Vaughn's mom again, so I just wanted to remind you that instead of buying Vaughn's weird pictures online in various states of undress, you can just bookmark his Amazon affiliate link, and then when you shop throw it on Amazon, he gets a few pennies here and there.